Hello, and thanks for watching UAPB News. I'm Frederick Price. And I'm Ebony Kendrick. State lawmakers are considering a bill that is upsetting many barbers. This week, I take a closer look. Pine Bluff barbers have a lot to say. We're here at Five Star Cuts and Styles at 2007 West 28th Street here in Pine Bluff to talk with the Clipper doctor, Marvin Cawthorn. Arkansas barbers were stunned to learn of the filing of Arkansas Senate Bill 410 by Republican Senator John Cooper of Jonesboro. The bill proposes the abolishment of the State Board of Barbers and removes the requirement of licensure or education to cut hair in Arkansas. The Clipper doctor, Marvin Cawthorn Jr., a new barber in Pine Bluff and owner of Five Star Cuts and Styles, had this to say about Senate Bill 410 and its effect on local barbershops. A bill is not too considerate of the profession of a barber because I've been in the uh, industry officially as far as a licensed barber for about five months now. At a cost of $15,000 to $20,000 plus licensing fees and 1,500 classroom hours of learning standards, barbers are understandably upset about the surprising bill that even the State Board of Barbers wasn't notified of. In a Arkansas Barbers Network Facebook post, director of the Arkansas State Barber Board of Examiners wrote about his displeasure of Arkansas SB 410. At the end of the day, law enforcement officer and owner Cawthorn is just concerned about the public. One of the questions on the barber board exam is who is the barber, I mean, who's the barber board to protect? Who are they supposed to protect? And the answer is the public. Hmm. With this pass, who's gonna protect the public? The fate of Arkansas barbers rests in the hands of Arkansas's legislature. We'll see the outcome of SB 410. This has been Ebony Kendrick with UAPB TV. Well, the Watson Chapel Missionary Church will be hosting a free community health fair. It will be held on Friday, March 15th from 10 to 2 that afternoon. Healthcare professionals and community representatives will be at the event. They'll be providing dental hygiene care, HIV testing, cancer screenings, as well as many other entities. For more information, email Dwight Mazik using the address on your screen, or you can call him at 870-489-1614. And in local news, applications for the MASH summer camps are available for high school juniors and seniors. MASH, the medical applications of Science for Health, camps are offered to students at 35 medical facilities in Arkansas. The program is designed to expose students to healthcare related careers. Attendance to this rule based camp is free. Applications are available through school guidance counselors or by contacting your local MASH director. For more additional information, visit the website on the screen. Many Pine Bluff residents may be disappointed as yet another store in the Pines Mall is set to close. JC Penney's announced that it will be closing its doors, and Eva Evans found out why. Longtime store J.C. Penney announced that their location in Pines Mall will close effective July 5th, 2019. Company officials say this decision was based on the store's portfolio. This assessed of stores were meeting the financial targets and real estate factors the company wanted. I spoke with General Manager Stephanie Thomas about why this location was chose to close. She said it was because of the decline of sales that this location was not meeting financial obligations. The closing, however, will impact employees directly. The company plans to offer separation benefits to those who will not transfer to a different location and a free career training class for all those affected by the change. We spoke to two-year employee Marissa Hawkins on her perspective on the close. The store closing down, I feel like it's a horrible idea because most of us have been here for years and now that we're closing, we have to find a new job and being in Pine Bluff, it's hard to find a new job. And I also feel sorry for the customers that shop here because now they have to travel to different places and most people don't like going different places if it's a store already here. The Pine Bluff JCPenney location is closing as part of the 130 stores around the nation. It is one out of three in the state of Arkansas, including the Military Plaza in Benton and the Chickasaw Plaza in Blyville. For UAPB TV News, I'm Neba Evans. On Saturday, readers of all ages were treated to a book giveaway. The Turning Point Youth Center teamed up with the Rejoice organization to sponsor the event. 
Participants could find various types of books, such as how-to guides, bedtime stories for children, and a wide range of fiction. One of the goals of the event is to give people alternatives to electronic devices. So this today is to more so get something else for children to do in the community, some reading, and we have puzzles and other things that they can work with besides the electronic devices. The center also hosts classes on etiquette, mental health, programs for first-time moms, and tutoring and other events. If you missed out on the giveaway or maybe have an interest in another program, call Pamela Barnes Ernest at 870-395-1954. Well, the UAPB Theater Department is back at it again, keeping busy, and they have something new. That's right, Frederick. William Lawson is going to give us the inside look. Hi, my name is Kevin Allen Brown, and I'm the new theater teacher here at the University of Arkansas in Pine Bluff. We are going to be producing 365 plays, 365 days, by Susan Laurie Parks, who is a Pulitzer Prize winning playwright. Greetings, I am Araya Hobbs, a senior here at the university, majoring in theater with a concentration in acting, and I'm also one of the directors for 365 Days and 365 Plays, written by Susan Laurie Parks. Um, the scene that I'll be directing is called The Pig Meets a Forming Man. It's about two society ladies coming together as friends to discuss their lives. I am really excited about this piece. I'm giving you guys a Real Housewives of Atlanta feel with this piece, and I just hope that you guys perceive what I am trying to put together. I'll see you guys soon. Well, my name is Christopher Fairmont Hunter. I am a junior here at the University of Arkansas Palm Bluff. I study theater. I will be directing the Good For Nothing play. The reason why I chose this play is because it stood out to me because of the name, The Good For Nothing. I feel like people are really like a life's last as well as a bigger understanding about the play. We are very excited to tell you that our show begins April 11th at 7.30 p.m. and it runs all the way through April 14th and April 14th's performance is going to be at 2 p.m. That's our matinee. And I really hope we get to see you. Frederick, I am really excited to be able to see that production by the theater department on April 11th. No, honestly, I think it's going to be really good. It's something new that the theater department has never done before, so I can't wait to see it. Great. Well, guys, I think that's it for this edition of UAPB News. I'm Ebony Kendrick. And I'm Frederick Price. Take care. <laughs>